Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. So we're doing it a little bit different. I know we announced like, uh, what was it, a week ago or was it two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago after that. Yeah. Uh, live stream. Live stream debacle. fail yeah. plus the rain. So in, uh, yeah. as you, as uh, you, most of our listeners and uh, viewers know, we are we live in Florida. And uh, the issue from June 1st to November 31st is it's a uh, hurricane season. So it causes us a lot of issues, especially because we're not in the city. So it's not like in the backwoods. Yeah, we in the backwoods. So, yeah, we got good Internet, but the weather affects it tremendously. So um, right. it's a trade off. It is. It is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to get better, but we still have to Ooh. wait. But again, like we said, we're going to continue. We're going to pre record this content for you. So. We're doing it the same day that we're going to release it. It's just going to take a minute before it can get on there. So we, we started recording before the rain started. But um, hopefully um, you guys will definitely get it today. So Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully. <laughs> 11.59. <laughs> it still counts. It <laughs> still counts. I know, I know Snot is going to give us a comment saying, well, I mean, it said you guys uploaded it at 12 o'clock. So technically you lied. It so still counts. Just, just in case, yeah. Um, just to let you guys know, but, um, no, no, yeah. So, uh, we're, we're going to kind of be doing this, uh, depending on the weather throughout hurricane season. Yes, that's uh, true. Just cause it's, it's going to be raining. It'll be here or there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. You might it, get alive. You might. Exactly. Yeah. If the weather looks clear, like it was last week, which was perfect. Man, that was awesome. Yeah. Check out last week's episode. One fish plus two fish equals no fish. Equals no fish. So that was a good episode. Um, I think a lot of people got a lot of insight on that episode, uh, we kind of dove into Terrence Howard's theory on one times one equals uh, two. Um, yeah. And a lot of people kind of left us uh, some comments from different countries, too. Yeah, that was, uh-huh. We got a lot from Ukraine and, of course, a lot of thumbs up on that one. And, of course, our shorts, our uh, sto- story shorts with the video games that we incorporated actually did very well on both of them, too. We got uh, a, a huge amount of listens on that, too. So... Um, go ahead and check those three, two videos out. Plus the. I think they hate me bullying you, Jeff. It's okay. You what? I think they they heard the. It's 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 a uh, it's a uh, normal to me. They heard, the, they heard the pain in your voice, and they're like, "Nah, this guy is just an asshole." Nah. Downvoted. Nah, I'm. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> oh man. I think we're good. Do you think I'm too callous with my side commentary? No, nah, no, you're good because it's like it's it catches it's off guard because it's like when we have conversations and I'm in the middle of co- having a conversation, you'll say something and I won't hear it. But then when I, when we're doing the timestamps and then I'm like, bro, you said that and I start laughing. Cause I'm like, Holy shit. But no, it's not like uh it's not like off putting or, or anything like that. I don't take offense to anything. Um, I feel like-, like I said, um, and um, I can I can give you perfect examples, and of course this this happened at work, and it's 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 no name, but um, had this uh, young young Gen Z come up to me and says, "Why should anybody care about your your podcast?" Right. And of course, one of the associates came to my defense, but I was like, "It's all right. You don't need to come to my defense. I don't take any offense to it." And then. He proceeded to, because I was reading on my lunch, and he proceeded to ask me what I'm reading, and he looked at it. He's like, why are you reading? Reading doesn't do anything for anybody. What has reading done What's for- What's going on? Hold on, hold on. What has reading done for anybody in history? <laughs> and I said, you know what? You're right. And then I said his name. I said, you know what? You're right. Reading has done nothing for nobody in history. That We have crazy. absolutely got nowhere to read. I just, so what I, I'll do- with him specifically is i'll just agree with him because i understand he has a short attention span because everything is internet for him i feel that everything that he like he's the one that likes uh what's the name of that um that popular streamer that moved to miami um sneeko no uh Uh, destiny no uh keep going 
I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. What's the name of this? Um, Kai? Nope. Uh, Kai's not in. Kai is not in no. Miami. Uh, the other one that was in California that moved to Miami. Jeez. What is he? He's do? on. He's on Kick. He's on Kick. I can't remember. His oh, he's name. a Kick streamer. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me type in top kick streamers. Uh, let's see. Aiden Ross. There you go. Aiden Ross. So he's like he's I a he's you. a he's an Aiden you. Ross. He's an Aiden Ross fanboy, and he was basically telling me. Uh, that that's the same kid that was also saying, "Well, why do we need an NDA? We're not important. We don't. Well, our podcast that's is not out there. Absolutely. All that stuff like that." But again, like I said, the first thing that always goes through my mind ever since that episode that we did is, "I have no enemies," and it's like, um, and it's like certain certain things like that that um, that w- I don't even focus on. So I kind of just give him the answers he wants to hear, mm-hmm. like. The NDA is to protect us regardless because we're a business at the end of the day and and our where we live and then what happens to uh because we have a uh, what that's crazy yeah yeah his mindset was really like that so the person that came the the young lady that came to my defense literally said um man these young these young <laughs> these young Gen Zs today and their TikTok brain TikTok. and I'm like damn look at us sounding damn. old <laughs> right because like now because like look right mm-hmm. why do we even need who needs to read right when someone can yeah. just tell you the information you want to hear you go on tiktok search it and then someone will just tell you the information. and you're correct that's exactly what he said but i also i also countered that a little bit and i said well you got to understand certain social medias will show you what you want no i'm not saying that's a good thing no, no, I understand, right. and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I said some. I said certain. I said certain social. After he left, I was having the conversation. I said certain social medias will only show you what you want to see, but they won't tell you what you actually. And um, I think there was a quote where uh, the Pepsi guy was talking to me, and he basically he knows Jimmy, so he came up to me. He's like, "Oh yeah, I've been listening to your podcast and that stuff." I said, "Word, that's what's up." He's like, "Yeah, Jimmy got me onto it." Oh, so solid. I said, "Yeah, that's what's shouts up." Out Jimmy, tell yeah, shit. shout out Jimmy. I said, "Tell Jimmy." I said, "What's up?" <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you um, and he basically said, um, if you ever want the truth, the the knowledge you will find will always be in a book. Not yeah. so that's that's kind of a quote that's that true. that Pepsi guy remembered. So he kind of and I said, you're correct. I said and I told him that's why I read, because it's like we can hear all these talking points all the live long day. But right. they're the same talking points. What's the information to back up those right. talking points? Right. Where did you get that information from? Because I can hear the information. But where did you get it from? You're telling me what you've read, but I need to understand it myself. Myself. So that's kind of what I did. So that's why I kind of, like I said last week, got back into reading because I I think, not, like I said, knowledge really is power and understanding what you're reading is what's going to. I also think knowledge is peace. It is. It is. If everyone just knew, knew more, to just be like you couldn't. You just couldn't hurt people if people knew. Yeah, for sure. If and I think, um, it, uh, again, that this is always goes back to why am I so happy? And you brought up a perfect example with SpongeBob. SpongeBob understands what his he's reality, outside of he's all out of it. he's outside of all of it. SpongeBob understands what his reality is, which is why he's never upset. Right, and Patrick is too dumb to care. To care, exactly. Exactly. So, and then of course, Squidward is the superficial type that cares what everybody he wants to align so, with. That. So he's right. he's showing an image that doesn't align with who he is. Right. So he's what is miserable? Exactly. He chooses to be miserable. Well, and and the thing is, the reason why he cho- he's miserable is because he's trying so hard to prove to everybody that he's the perfect person. Right. And do you know why none of it matters? Why? Because they're sea creatures. They're under the fucking ocean. Why does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't fucking because, matter. Because uh, there's fish a fish is going to fish, a whale is going to whale. whale. Yeah, exactly. Whether you have a suit and tie or whether you don't. Yep. <laughs> no, I agree. No, you're right. You're right. I agree. That makes sense. But, um, yeah, that was kind of... That was kind of, and and it just to just to reiterate the the point that we're bleeding into because people think you're mean, but I'm saying you're not. It's just I'm basically saying that words don't affect me. 
I don't, I'm not even saying necessarily or sometimes they right. just they just don't because I understand. I would say five years ago, yes. I would say three years ago, yes. But now it's like I understand. I've hit that level of mm-hmm. bullshit to say, okay, I'm starting from the bottom and then I'm moving up, but I'm starting at a at a mellow place where right. nothing is going to phase me regardless. Anything that bad that comes is a lesson for me. It's something that I can learn from it and and improve on it and then make myself better from it. So ba- uh, bad news is not bad news to me. Bad news is good news because I know that I can um, learn from There's it. There's a lesson to coming and, out of exactly. this. Exactly. Right. So you're, you're going to be better after this. Exactly. So it's like, right. and, and that's why when you when you, like you and I um, like we like you said we made some bad investments in like crypto for example mm-hmm. years ago, mm-hmm. and it's like. Yeah, we lost money, but we learned from it. Mm-hmm. We learned what not to do moving forward with right. it. So, right. which put us in the position that we are in today. Like we are in a way better position now. You and I mm-hmm. together with this business. I had to get scammed to know how to not get scammed. Eh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, and 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 now you and I just looking at our position today. It's like right. it's it's amazing. You get All what right. I'm saying. So, I um, I want to continue to perpetuate that, and and I think that's why uh, it scares people a little when they they're like, well, why? Are you? And we always get this question: Why are you never angry? Because I don't have anything negative in my life to be angry right. at. And it's like, why would you want to see me angry? You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, I always find solutions and different ways of coming at things. So this kid was so concerned after I finished break that he came down the aisle and said, Jeff, are you mad at me? I said, no. I, I never ha- held any ill will, grudge, animosity, uh, animosity or anything towards you. Ma- yeah, that. none of that. None of that yeah. went through my mind. And he's like, well. It's never personal. Yeah, but exactly. Well, and he's personal. like, well, I, I think the young lady is upset at me. Should I go say something to her? I said, no, don't say anything to yeah, her. She's fine. fine. Right. Because the comment was directed towards me. And right. again, um, you need to understand something. What my brother and I, what my brother and I make, is not for everybody. You get what I'm Facts, saying? Right. I don't have to be a somebody to make this content because it will relate to somebody around the world. It's not here for it's you. eight billion motherfuckers. Eight billion, exactly. <laughs> the exactly. odds are in my favor. And then, of course, remember when we originally start this, our goal was not just to reach the United right. States, but to reach the other side of the world. Right. And we finally did. We right. finally did. That's that's a. <laughs> That's an amazing. I am delusionally optimistic. Yeah, that that's so. an amazing accomplishment. Like when we started seeing the first, because we have a map that shows us uh, uh-huh. who listens where. So when we started seeing a couple red dots in South America, mm-hmm. Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, well, not Antarctica, but um, uh, when we, Shh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Not in Antarctica. Yeah, we, we have There's to, nothing going on there. We have to there. we have to delete oh, those. We have to le- delete those red dots. There's nothing going on down there. Well, they don't exist, you know. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> uh man, I'm just kidding. Alleged, allegedly, allegedly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's nobody in Antarctica. No, there isn't. There isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just the North Pole, Santa. Okay. We know you're listening, big guy. All right. All right. We're trying to be good. All right. Just put it down. And let's just continue the show. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Yeah, so so it's like um that that was our goal originally. We just cause we wanted to have that listening ear, which is why we put our, our, our stuff on so many platforms. Um and uh, uh, again, like I told him, and he's like, Are you sure you're not angry? I said, Yes, d- trust I said, dude. I said you were overthinking this way too much. I didn't take anything you said personally. Mm-hmm. You had a question that you asked me, and then of course I didn't have a chance to give you a response because the young lady went to my defense. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's not for everybody. But at the same nope. time, it's not for everybody. But uh, my brother and I talk about experiences, situations, and things that we've been through or things that we've viewed online to give our personal pr- opinion because that might trigger something in somebody that says, "Oh." He has the same mindset or idea as me. Oh, he understands where I'm coming from. Oh, he knows somebody that understands where I'm coming from. Right. So that's kind of the purpose of of why you and I do this. And then, of course, uh, whenever we have chances, we'll interview people, artists, right. um, family members, all that stuff like that. So that's kind of what I told him at the end of the day. Again, he has a short attention span, and I get it. He grew up in the era of technology, and and Gen Alpha. 
No, he's no, a Z. He's Z. Gen Z. Yeah. But like the later, closer to Gen Alpha, Gen Z. Type he's shit. 19. So about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's 19. He's pretty close to that. So, um, so no, and, and I told him, dude, I don't have any issues with you at all. I don't hold, it, hold any ill will towards you at, or anything like that. Your question is a question. I, I don't look for problems. I, I love my peace, and I want to continue to have my peace, and that's why I always say I have no enemies because – uh, that is like the best thing that I've ever that I've ever learned, not just from you, but from watching this anime, because you're the one that suggested it to me. So, but no, yeah, but uh, that's that's kind of the thing with with that. So that's so when people assume, like, remember when we used to they we used to like call each other names at eight forty seven, and people Dog, were assuming that. that was, no, even I think that was actually kind of crazy. It was toxic. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, 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 that came from. That was toxic, yeah. So, but but people are like, "Are you guys okay? Are you guys about to fight?" No, I was like, "That's how me and my brother communicate to each other." We've evolved since right, then, right? Because I was uh, twenty five, right, at the time. Yeah, and when we I was, were just yeah, when I was, was twenty, I was venom. twenty. Yep, straight mm-hmm. venom. And then we dap each other up and go get lunch. Or exactly, like and that. that that was the thing. And people were like, "What the fuck nah, just happened?" That <laughs> shit was spooky. Yeah, yeah, but but of course, like I said, like like you were talking about earlier, our relationship evolves every single time. Mm-hmm. Like. We'll go experience a lot of things on our own and then come back and then talk about those experiences, yeah. whether it be good or bad. But it makes us grow as people. And then we have some commonalities. But at the same time, we understand each other's differences. Yeah. So it's not like it's not a unimind or anything like that. So like it's you, like we grew up together. Yeah. And then split. I do my own thing. Meet my own friends, mm-hmm. own people, do my own shit. Mm-hmm. And then something is like, boom. And then we're like best friends again. And yeah. Then, we do a whole bunch of shit together for mm-hmm. like five years, mm-hmm. and then bam, something happens, and then we just go do our own yep. shit. Like at twenty seven, when I was living with uh, Skyler, we went to Bush Gardens a lot, uh, bowling. We did karaoke. Mm-hmm. We did we we. I mean, there was a lot. It, we did a facts, lot. Facts. So it's not like um, it's not like that's how come already. That's how come every every time people see us, they're like, man, I love you and your brother's relationship because you guys are so close. Because every, everyone's like, oh, what if something happens and you guys blah, blah, blah. We always have a conversation. Mm-hmm. It's not I hate you, you hate me. We don't run off of um, emotions 100% mm-hmm. and say this is it. We're going to separate or break up or whatever like that. We just have a conversation. It's and find never, out it never gets that deep. It never does. Right. And it's like. We'll if never it, let it get. That if deep. it starts, we break it down and say, all right, why are you thinking this yeah, way? If we smell smoke, all right. What's up? Yes, exactly. You know what I'm Let's put it out before it becomes yeah. a fire. If we smell smoke, what's up? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, this the like let's say you did something and then I I respond to you a way the same way. Like I respond to you like with an exclamation point type yeah. shit. And then you say nothing about it. And then you do something that bugs me again mm-hmm. and then I'll be like, hey, could you stop doing this? Mm -hmm. And then that's when we're like, all right, how long did you feel this way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Right. Because it's like if I'm doing it, remember, if you don't tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'm going to keep doing it. Or if I, and you've you've done that with me over the years when I was in my um, Mm mid-20s. Like when I would say or do something that would hurt somebody's feelings, you're like, Jeff. This is how it comes off. This is probably not what you're trying to do, but right. this is what it comes off as. You just be, got to be mindful of other people because what what you think is not rude comes off rude to certain people, mm-hmm. and it affects them. Because you right. did say what we say sometimes affects people. Mm-hmm. And, and pe- they will never express it, of course. They'll continue to smile through their teeth, but it's like we just have to be careful with with our words so that's how come i always think about what i say before i say because with anybody in this world Mm -hmm. whatever you say can change the direction of what the whole yeah 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 so it's like um, that's why we we spell words you really doing some shit mm -hmm. like you yeah you working with energies, bro. What? Yeah, exactly. We're like spelling. Uh, <laughs> That's what we doing. Yeah. What? So um, I know a quote that I, I I came up with, which is uh really nice. Um, cause so sometimes, uh, like um, purpose gives life meaning. Break it down for me. So what I've realized is a lot of people don't have. 
a direction or they think the one thing that they're doing that um how can i explain this a lot of people don't have direction in their life so it's like if they're okay with one thing they will continue to do that one thing even though they can do more you get what i'm saying so let's say they're talented with something else Mm -hmm. but they're too afraid to take that endeavor and move forward with it. i'm not saying it's for everybody you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like let's say Let's say you you don't want to work the rest of your life. You want more for your life. So it's like if you're talented at doing something that can potentially help you get out of it, but you're so safe in your your area that you're afraid right. to, to venture out. Right. Like I said, I'm not saying it's not for everybody, but it's like I like to say sometimes purpose gives life meaning besides what you think you're supposed to be doing if you g- now if you so like okay so okay so does the does everyone have to like no. what if what if they're okay with like what if they know everything but they do, okay so what let's say they do have a skill right like uh-huh. they have a talent uh-huh. like i have other talents mm-hmm. right like but the main thing I l- like to do is talk and art. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I love science. Yeah. You know, I'll dive into that. Yeah. But to actually, like, I don't know. I even like doing science, well, too. That, that's what I'm know. saying, because <laughs> cause I'm, not, I'm not talking about hobby. You get what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. I got you. So not necessarily a hobby. Oh, you mean, like, purpose. Yes. Like, when I say my my final form, yes. Like when I say, so yeah, okay, I get you. So it's I like it's like you work Amazon, but you don't see yourself doing that the, ten, ten years. What ago. I always tell people to do is imagine what you want to be doing on a Saturday mm-hmm. in July. Oh, specifically, the moment you wake up, what's the first thing you're doing? Describe your environment. If you can't describe your environment, you don't know what you want in life. What you want in life, yeah. And then that that's uh um I like that perspective too cuz I never thought about it that way. Um it, the the way I came at it was um cuz remember when I told you I asked about 5 6 I think it was 5 6 months ago <clears throat> like if you had like I would ask somebody if you had a million dollars in the, in the bank when you woke up, what would you want to do? Um, not food and pay bills pay wise, bills. but yeah, yeah. Because the first thing that goes through their mind is, oh, I, I need to pay my bills. I'm not, and then I would say not necessarily food, buy, buy food or pay bills wise, but something that you've always wanted to do your entire life that you weren't able to do due to the fact right. that you're not in the position to be able to do that. And then of course I got various different answers, uh-huh. like read all the books in the world, mm-hmm. um, kind of travel the 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 countrysides and and learn different languages like i got genuine like real answers right and then some people are like oh um some people are like oh either it's not enough because of the economy we live in (laughs) or (laughs) yeah i know but if you're going to pay if you use a million in a different country technically it's more than what it is (laughs) dog if i had a million the shit i'd be able to do yeah but that's what i'm saying like here's the thing it's like if i have a million I spent most of my life without a million. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So why don't I just invest that million, keep doing my shit, pay my bills? <laughs> no, do a 50 cent set. <laughs> oh, yeah, go to the bank. Go to the bank and ask for a million. And ask for another million. Because, because you have a million. Because you have a million. And th- there you go. And, and now then, you got two million. And now you got two million. And then all you have to do <laughs> is invest that two million. Yep. And then just pay that first half of yep. the two million off. And by the time, you won't even have to exactly. finish paying Because that all you have to do is minimum payments. So pay half of that million, which is five hundred thousand. Now you have one point five million, and then all you have to do is pay the minimum, oh, invest dude. that five hundred five hundred thousand into something that will make you money, and then you should be set. But you need that first million. Then you need that first million. That's the thing, and that's the thing, and I think that's the that's the that's the crappy loophole with it. Like, yeah, you'll be able to. We know how to acquire two million, uh-huh. but we don't know how to get two million. That's why people tell me pay bills. That shit breaks my heart. That's why when I ask that question, I ask it with the caveat of not paying bills. That shit breaks my heart. Like, why? Pay yourself. 
Yeah. Buy yourself some stock. Yeah. Buy some land. Well, they want to see it right away. Buy some land. They want to see it right away. Something. Buy some land. Buy you've some been working. Land. Oh, fuck spinning You know ribs. what I'm saying? Like, you've been working. You what? You just came across a million. Mm-hmm. Just keep doing what you've been doing for like five more years. Yep. Pretend it's not there. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like you have but a million. But that's tough, though, because not yeah. everyone is struggling the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Some people. That's true. Like, there's a threshold, I would say, invest in yourself. Of course. Below that, bro. Use that million. Get yourself out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I agree with that. I agree with that. And I think you know I, I think that's the key thing too. Because remember when uh, people who have never who people who have never had a lot of money that don't understand money is presented with a lot of money, they tend to burn it instead of thinking thinking about it. Like get a mentor, get a CPA, do what you got to do so you don't lose all that money. Don't buy frivolous things that you 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 can't you don't need. Don't buy mansions that you're going to have to pay million dollars in property taxes for or hundreds of thousand dollars in property taxes for. So uh, do things that, you know, will make you money. Don't just keep spending it expecting, oh, this is forever because money goes down. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I think that's one of the I think that's one. And interest rates are nothing. They're dummy. What? But um. No man, yeah. So it's it, um it, it it always begs that it always begs that question. So, but like like I said, the trajectory that we're going in is is phenomenal, and and like you said, twenty twenty four is the year. So, like I say, um, I I don't know, like I know who I am. I'm not out here really. to to be mean to people. I'm not. I speak to Jeff because this is the relationship we fostered. Yeah, for sure. Our entire life. So like he. Dude, understands. we feel we fill each other's cups. You know what I'm saying? Like he understands the energy that I come off with. Mm-hmm. So. You know what I'm saying? Bro, half the time we're we're singing the song and we're singing the same shit. <laughs> yeah, that's like, kind of spooky. Yeah, that's that's literally like. like we're four years apart, so that's that tells you a lot. Berk. I reckon. What? Hold on. You what? There you go. That's it. There you go. That's the button right there. Ooh. But yeah. So, yeah, man. That's why when anyone comes up to me and, like, tries to, not tries to discourage me, but tries to help me see the reality of the venture we're going down, Mm -hmm. I'm like, bruh. I'm like, bruh. First. I'll listen to it. I'll listen to it. But everything you're going to tell me. (laughs) I already know. I already know. That might discourage me. But you can ask my family and all my friends. I am delusionally optimistic. Delusionally optimistic. You know what I'm saying? So, like, hey, man, you can try. You what? And like I told Jeff, I'll be my own listener. Mm -hmm. I'll open up Spotify right now. I'll open up YouTube Live right now and react to myself. Sensational. Hey man, yeah, that's, how, that's just how it is. What the hell? That's just how it is, man. No, I get it. Like I said, um, it's it's just that's um, what the hell. And, and and the thing too is like um, every time I go into work, it's like people don't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I always, I always come in, or especially if it's somebody new, um, they're like, "Wow, you're different. Wow, you're actually a manager." I wish all the ones where everybody else was like you. And it's like, I'm not trying to boast myself or trying to put myself out there. That's just my character and my personality. You get what I'm saying? I've reached that level where I'm like, nothing can phase me. I feel that. You get what I'm saying? But like. Well, death or something like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a robot. But I'm just saying, you, know, like, you gotta care. I Remember, do. everything matters. Nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I do. I, I, if, care. if, yeah, I care in, in the sense of if somebody said, if somebody I care about says something that can hurt my feelings, or in the sense of, uh, is only someone who knows you can hurt you now. Yes. There you go. That that yeah. Okay, yeah there you go. Yeah. That's basically only what someone who knows you can hurt. You. That's basically what I was saying because it's like. I don't I don't have to lie and I don't have to sugarcoat anything for anybody. Um and if I and I'll never be dis- dishonest and if I do something incorrectly and you call me out on it then I'll say I'll correct it or I'll fix it because that's something I did wrong. I don't have to lie to you for that. You get what I'm saying? So for me that's just who I am as a person. 
Um, and, and that's my character. I I hate people who um, you hate. I dislike people who um, will falsely accuse me of things that I haven't done, just to make oh like uh, mischaracterize. Yeah, mischaracterize I me. Feel, I feel. Or try to destroy my character because everybody knows who I am. So it's like when you hear, um, and not saying that not everybody knows me personally, but people know my character. And it's like that does if they say that doesn't sound like Jeff. But again, we don't know who we are outside of work. Mm-hmm. Again, but um, it's like if uh, somebody mischaracterizes me and tries to say I I am this or I try to do that. Like you'll never hear when when my name comes out of somebody somebody's mouth. It's never bad. I feel that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So if 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 you hear the name Jeff, it's not he did this. It's not bad. It's It's never bad. It's never bad. Which is actually kind of spooky. I promise, guys, I'm normal. What? Like I said, I just like you said, and I say and I say the same. I just love my peace, man. Love peace. I enjoy it. Love peace. I enjoy peaceful people. I enjoy Absolutely. I enjoy people I can have conversations with, hang out yeah. with, have fun with, um, sit down with, mm-hmm. be quiet with. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I, I enjoy my peace and I don't want that to be disturbed whether right. through whether it be through violence or whether it be through arguing, whether it be through anything. And I'm not and I used Would you to, say you're non ideological? Think about it before you just say yes or no. But like, would you say you're non? Uh, can you elaborate? Ideological, like, um. So, like for me, I can't marry myself to any like ideology mm-hmm. that exists in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I could probably lean or preference towards one, or I understand you know, what you're saying, but like. It's only selfishly to serve or uh, 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 others serve others and like to serve my selfish worldview of, you know, like there are because in my mind, I believe there are infinite paths to peace. We're just too lazy. And, you know, there's a there's a bunch of reasons why. Yeah. But like even in that, that's a selfish thing. Of course, that's my worldview on how I view peace mm-hmm. for myself. You see what I'm saying? So I try to understand many worldviews and uh, and not necessarily walk a fine line, but like find the path that does not harm most and doesn't allow others to harm others. Gotcha. No. Yeah, you're right. I am. You see um, what I'm saying? I believe I am. And the only reason why. The only reason why I say that is because um, I try to um, empathize or understand to a degree everybody's worldview. So it's not like I understand their perspective or where they're coming from or why they believe what they believe. But I am willing to sit down and listen and then add that to the collective knowledge that I have acquired throughout the years and try to um, perpetuate a um, not... um, not a persona, but a um, a way of of living. If you if you not a way of living, how do I say that? To perpetuate a um, a sense of understanding why humanity thinks the way they do. If if you if you get what I'm saying, I get I get you. you like it, you, what is it? I'm trying to find the right it's words. Like epistemology, like just understanding the mechanics of society and how yes. people interact with yes. each other, and yes. and stuff like that. But also including your own humanity yes. in it. Because what I've learned, like viewing humanity through the lens of your own humanity, exactly using humanity's experience to define your humanity, and then using your humanity, yes, uh, uh, as like I guess, um, uh, uh an overlay. Of the broader humanity, I don't know. I'm just saying a whole bunch of humanities. If you understood what I said, then it's like you know um, what I'm trying it's to like say. um, it's like the day the Earth stood still when they use Kiana Reeve as a vessel to try to see. Because remember, every time this is a silly, this is a silly thing to say, but every time 
an alien comes to Earth, what's the first thing that they do? They absorb our history through the internet and see all the bad that we did mm. instead of all the good that we did. And then they'll deem our planet violent, destructive, and say, time to get rid of it. Right. But then, of course, in the day the Earth is still with the Keanu Reeves version, that little kid showed him a different perspective of humanity. You get what I'm saying? Because all we do in every culture and aspect is just try to or i don't know if this is just a united states thing but try to isolate ourselves divide yes label it exactly isolate. and it's like and it's like when Separate. you when, when you when you talked about being uh, uh us as a whole being just amorphous it basically encompasses any and everything um that's kind of a simple way to put it instead but we're sitting there separating ourselves whether it be religious or whether it be cultural or whether it be um um whether it be um, even within our own, like, Americans. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah, this is a perfect example. Like, even it, with Americans, like, we don't just say, some people say we're Americans, but then we have a subset. Right. Black Americans or right. African Americans. Right. Uh, Mexican Americans. Uh, right. Or um, um, Indi Native Americans. So you see what I'm saying? Even within our own, even even though we're all Americans in the United States, we s try to separate ourselves. Kind of defeats the purpose of the idea. Of, of the idea, what, so what it's supposed to be. It, so that's why it it, it should be the moment you come here. Exactly. Right. That's why it baffled me when I had that when I had that question asked to me. Why, um, if you if you and this um, young lady, if you and this lady are both Americans, why do they separate y'all by skin color? is what she said and it's like this is the first time i've ever been asked that question so i didn't I, oh you gotta give pretext oh 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 right. so okay so yeah my i was i did the whole mind thing yeah. <laughs> to some of the audience okay so at work we had so everybody knows haiti's going through a conflict so uh, a lot of them were uh, come over here so they can try to start old, anew because countries in shambles so one of the young ladies asked um uh, a, a Caucasian woman um, at the store. If if Jeff and it, what's the, she's like, what's the difference between black and African? And I said, there is no difference. That's just what it is. She's like, okay, aren't you both? Amer she's like, aren't you guys both Americans? She's like, yes, but in this country they separate us. Right. And she said, why? This is the first time I've ever they been labeled asked. it. Right. Yeah. Right. This is the first. So uh, so her looking outside in. Well, right, she's like, "What the fuck is yeah. this?" <laughs> she so her looking outside in, she's like, "But we're all, am but you guys are all Americans. Why do they separate you by African American or um, Haitian American or Mexican American, Mexican -American yeah. or Native American. Americans, but then Caucasians are just called Americans?" American. And I said, "That's just something America does. I don't know why. Even though we're all seen as Americans, that's why Raven Simone got flagged." When she was on the, uh, I'm not African American. I'm American. Yeah, I'm American. Yeah, she she. But at the time, like motherfuckers was roasting her. They're roasting her and because it's like, it's like, oh, you're denying your race. Blah blah blah. It has nothing. to She's do with outside it. that bullshit. Exactly. So it's like, I'm outside we, of it. And then I remember we had a conversation about two three months ago where where we were like, well, um, the the United States is constantly trying to divide. We're called the United States, but we're constantly trying to divide. But then you're going into the whole, oh, we're individual countries. All right, it's 50 mini countries. 50 mini countries in the sense of that. But as a, as a whole, we are the United States. So why call it united if everything is separated or... Uh, or everything is separated. Everything, Church, yeah. yeah. Separation of state, state. All that stuff like that. So it's like when somebody outside the country came and asked me that question... I had to actually think about it because I was like, holy cow, no one has ever asked me that question before, but she is right. I knew I, I knew I knew already that's what it was. Mm. But she's like, what's the difference between black and African? And then I said, there is none. It's the same thing. It's just you can call either or. And then she's like, and then what's the difference between white and African? I said, well, of course, th they look at the skin color first. But at the end of the day. We're all American. So she's like, why do they separate? I said, that's just something America does. That's just what it is. Even, it's it's program. That, that's why it's so crazy. Right. It, that's why it's so crazy when it's like Native Americans were here first. Right. But they call them Native, Native Americans, they not even have the Americans. American. 
You get what I'm saying? I feel that. So 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 that was kind of that was kind of different. Explaining uh, that to someone that's not who's ex- lived outside of it. Yeah, like when you're outside of the bullshit, like it's like prime example, right? When we would be saying like, okay, growing up, mm-hmm. in my mind, I was always Haitian. Yes. So like when people would say you're African American or da da da, like I wouldn't take offense to it, but like no. in my mind, I'm just like, okay, I I guess, you know what I'm saying? But like all my history is directly from Haiti. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of the 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 offensive uh, uh, shit like they would say to me, mm-hmm. like. You didn't understand. I it. never really understood. You didn't it. relate to it. I couldn't relate to it because yeah. when my own parents are telling me like how amazing my ancestors were, and mm-hmm. you know, and what they did, were, and all yeah, that stuff and all like that, that. Yeah. like I our just, roots, our roots. It just never clocked with me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, I don't know. Like, I it, it's it just really depends whether you've been. It, it's been in implanted, ingrained, ingrained right. in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, even on both sides of the issue, you know, when it comes to race, like, when you even want to speak on it, like, there's indoctrination in, in, in terms of, like, you know, you should be upset because they separated you versus, oh, they're upset because they want to be separated now. Yeah, because even That's within their own communities, they 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 want to be separated because if you right. say anything else but that then it's like well you're 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 either betraying your own race right. or you don't want to be associated right. with us it has nothing to do with that the, the right. goal the goal is to just be one and it's like we're going f- so far from it because there's so many subcategories of everything remember that time magazine sorry to cut you off no go you're ahead. good go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. no no yeah no you just, remember that time magazine of what they thought humans were going to look like by like 2050 i remember i read oh, it. um the mix the mixed race thing yeah i read that time magazine article uh, the Everyone was gonna be mixed. Human in twenty fifty. Uh Time magazine. Or, or was it National Geographic? I read it in one of my science classes. Yeah, it was the weird but you notice how we're going towards that? Remember you said the wide eye the wide face? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They predicted it, yeah. bro. They predicted it. We about to be aliens, dog. Yeah. Why do they all look like Nick Cannon? <laughs> <'Cause they probably laughs> because that is Nick Cannon. That is Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the, no, yeah, but that was crazy. the thing. Like they they're all did you oh. No, I wasn't able to. Okay. No, you're good. But no, yeah, yeah. They're all gonna be mixed race with uh hazel green or brown eyes. But eye. that's the thing, like and then why call them mixed race at that point? Uh, yeah. Why even? You see how stupid it is. Yeah. Do you see how stupid it is when you start putting labels, and exactly. then the labels break down the borders of hey. those labels break down. English, hate, like we always say, English is I hate, stupid. I hate English. English is stupid. stupid. There's so many, and that's it's why. Stupid. That's why when you speak a different language, you're like, we don't have that syllable or no one, name or no, word in it. No one has foresight, and that's tough. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Yeah. No one has foresight. Yeah. And I think. Eh, and I think that's and I think that's the uh, again that's one of the biggest issues is the individualism in everything. You get what I'm saying? But that's it's good though. Yeah, it is it's good. It is. Um, but to the point where it's like it's separating everybody. Where it's like you need to stay within this box and you need to stay within this box. And if you're not part of this box, then you're not accepted. But if you're part of this box, you are accepted. You get what I'm saying? It's good to a point. Here's the problem. We're individuals. We're individualists selfishly. Gotcha. That's the problem. If everyone wants to be an individual, you should also accept the fact that others are individuals. But gotcha. we can't accept that. And they can't look at your world. We view. want to be individuals in groups. <laughs> that's stupid. Then that's not being individual. That's not being. You see, like. You know mine. That's so dumb. You know mine. That's so dumb. That's that's what it is. Like that's so dumb. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. For me, it's like at this point, just let it all. We'll, let's start over. Let's yep. figure it out again. I'm not saying burn shit. Like yeah, not yeah, yeah, collapse. Yeah. But like, let's collectively, in thought, rethink how you know. 
we view everything. Humanity. Yeah. Humanity's purpose. So, um, I think uh, humanity's current purpose has outlived its, you know. It's time to, time you to know, the, the The same wake up nine to five building work in a building people are people are tired of it so they are a lot of people are living outside of themselves same old same old you know what i'm saying like bro what's next man we're ready for the next stage of evolution what's next like eventually you're gonna replace real life experience with a vr yep and augmented reality i agree you need to start changing how we think about humanity. And if you're still thinking of it like this, mm-hmm. it's tough. You're going to go crazy. No, no, yeah, you're right. You're going to go crazy. Well, look look how it evolved. Remember when podcasting was just talking? Not Where did podcasting start? Yeah. Not the internet. Well, what I'm saying. Remember? I guess you could just call it a ra- like radio. That's, radio, yeah. That was the original podcast. And then it evolved to private radio to now podcasting. And, but I'm saying it, it was just uh, two people in front of a mic having a conversation. Then it evolved to video. You get what I'm saying? Then it evolved to live. So I feel that. Video so, on demand. Video on demand. Yeah. yeah. So, um, And now it's IRL, IRL streaming. Oof. Something's gonna have to happen with that. I think I think Kick ruined it for IRL streaming. It did, it did, because it's like now you're, or maybe that's just all the content I'm getting in my feed. It could, yeah. I just think it's worse than it is. Yeah, but all the only Kick news I ever get is just always some gross, horrible shit, bro. So I don't know, man. I remember. Us streaming on Kick floated through the ether, you know, through the idea at one point, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I got you. I wouldn't. Because it's like, I can't, this is just my personal view, Mm -hmm. but I can't knowingly be on a platform that's with the degeneracies of America. Like I'll say it for you. You see what I'm saying? Especially the most famous people on the platform. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like the bosses, the CEOs are paying these people, the most famous people to do the most degenerate, horrible shit. You see what I'm saying? Like You what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying you're not you don't you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, go for it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just something I wouldn't want to you know, and it's understandable. You know, I, yeah, it's a, especially it, be associated with my name. With it, yeah, it's like prime example, right? It's like, oh, come check out my cooking show on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. You what? You see what I'm saying? Because it was associated with something negative. Right. So now it's like, even if you're talking, giving advice, cooking. Doing anything else, home ec, all that, uh, home, uh, creating like because it starts at the top, stitching and all right. that stuff like that. It starts yeah, at yeah, the yeah, top. Yeah. yeah, you see what I'm saying. So, but uh, that starts at the that's top. That's what's prominent. So, if the the, the 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 negative connotation is with that name, right. regardless of what you like, do on. Why that. Why am I going to try on your platform and be a outstanding or to the best of my ability be a the best human being I can mm-hmm. and get no views or whatever. Not saying the views matter, but like no one really cares about my the shit. views is what gets you paid when I though. could just sell myself, like just, just sell my humanity and just be assholes to people. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And expose people and, and bully people and, and just talking about the higher ups, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pay people to just live stream, do, do degenerate, stuff. do degenerate. Well, shit. on top of that, they're disturbing people's peace too. It's right. like they they don't even well, want. And on top of that too, like they've been catching hella predators on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You and but at the same time, it's like half of these people that not the predators, but just regular people passing by. You're just bothering them. You're just or bothering. They're in an bro. they're in the public area with their kids, and you're either you're either cussing or you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing on camera. And then knowing that your bodyguards are right there and they cannot touch you, they so you're gonna do you. even more stupid shit on there. So, but I, I yeah, it, it, that's that's the crazy thing about it. But it's like, 
That's crazy. That's nuts. That's crazy. So why would you want to be associated with that? It's like it's the same you reason don't. why I don't go on X. Like I saw a uh, a a a trending topic this morning. I think uh. it was talking about Kai Sanat mm-hmm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. I guess he did, it was like he's doing his Elden Ring. His yeah, Elden his Ring. hundred hour. Yeah. Yeah, I saw I saw that. You I see saw, what I'm saying? That yeah. was trending and it's like I click on top tweets. Literally three scrolls down, I'm already seeing someone like, you know, playing with himself. Yeah, doing some crazy stuff. Diddly widdly. Well, because they know people are going to click on it, so they're going to put any any degenerate stuff on it. So it's like, why even bother, hey, go to our page on X. You see what I'm saying? You might as well say triple X. You see what I'm saying? He knew what he was doing, bro. I'm telling you, off rip, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. (laughs) Bring more people to the site, yeah. He knew what he was doing, but I, bro. Yeah, but I get it. I, I, I mean, I see, I see what's going on, and it's like the separation, the the humanity in there, how we treat hum, uh, human beings, all that stuff like that. I mean, it's all interconnected. I mean, it's it, again at the end of the day, what we what we say. Oh, what did you what did you call it again? Like you said, um, what did you call yourself? That you said you're. What did I call myself? Yeah, you said, am I, I can't remember what you said. Oh. um, Do I associate myself? Do, yeah, do you align with any ideology? Like, like do you find yourself yeah, aligning and, with Yeah, and, and that's why I said I don't, ideology. because it's like, I don't, I, and I never judge people based off of what they do mm-hmm. or how they act. I want to live my existence based off of, you know. Like, I'll make inferences to philosophies that people have studied so I can understand my experience, my emotions, the my, the, my rationality, my logic, things that I do every day and try to understand, okay, what, what motivated me to make certain decisions. But I also allow myself to experience things. Exactly. So you, you can either saying? continue or never do them again. Right. Exactly. You got to learn from them. Exactly. I mean, there's some things we can try, especially if it's involving children or or kids or teenagers. There's certain things that we can say, no, we're not going to let you do that because we don't want you to put yourself in that position that you can never get yourself out of. But certain situations when you become an adult, if you want choose to put yourself in that, then you have to. No, you just weigh your options because at the end of the day, the ultimate price you will always pay. After I sip my water. The ultimate price you will always pay for anything in life. Mm -hmm. Number one, number one, number one, number one thing you will always trade off in life. No matter what you do, whether you're successful, whether you're poor, whether you're rich, whether you're middle class, whether you're anything, Mm -hmm. whether you want to go swimming, whether you want to whether you want to go boating or you want to be a computer engineer, you want to be a a roboticist, you want to astrophysicist whatever the number one thing you will always trade in life and i wish people respected this is your soul is your time is your time and that's the thing if people respected time there would be peace yep there would be peace if you don't respect time that's true. That's why. I, that's why when time. we do. That's why I try to do as much as I can in a day, yep. even though it kills me sometimes. They don't respect it. time. They don't respect their own time. They don't respect other people's time. Mm-hmm. They don't respect time. You need to give up time out of your day so you can make me feel better about myself. That's crazy. Or do what I want to do, not that's what crazy. you want to do. Or give. It takes time for anything. Yeah. Anything. To be successful, to foster relationships, mm-hmm. to nothing, learn a new skill, to yeah, nothing happens overnight. And, make an investment, and you and I know that better than anybody that we know. You see what I'm saying? All right. To lose weight, yeah. That to takes time. change your life, mm-hmm. to fall in love, to find out what you want to do, to find out what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, time, 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 time. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's and that's how it's just like at the base of it all, like everything that I've talked about, Mm -hmm. time encompasses all of that. I got you. Because I don't I I only have a limited amount and I don't have time 
for enemies. I don't. If you have enemies, Sensation. you got time. That means you got time. You got time to start shit on the internet. You got time. You're wasting your time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, especially the people that can sit down and come up. If with you them. got time. No, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Time. Time is everything, bro. Yeah. Time is everything. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're like, Jeff, why are your eyes always look so low and sad? Because I'm looking into the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like we, we're having that conversation I'm off off, off camera. Yeah, you're talking. Yeah, you're talking about what we're where where we're going. You can yep. see where we're going. Right into the future. I see it every like day. The vision is clear. And every motion I make is an autopilot to the future. Yep. Because I see it. That's how I, look I at see it. it. I feel it. I'm living my future right now. That's how I look. You at just it. don't see it. Yeah. You don't see what I see in my head. But I'm living my future right now. And we'll get there. You know what I'm saying? I see it. Yeah. And that's because I respect my time. I believe it. I respect my time and I respect people's time. And I will pay you for your time. Yep. I always pay people for the time. Any If anyone does a job or service for me, I understand how much time it went to learn that skill. To achieve that skill. To practice that skill. Of to course. replicate that skill. The resources that went into that. And I will never shortchange you for offer for for you know offering me that skill or, or using that skill to help me or make my life and save me what time time. Okay, everything you do is with a purpose. Yep, not just to do it, just to do it. Yep, I feel it. Yep, yep, yep. I feel it. And I hate wasting words, bro. I hate wasting words. If if I could summarize a concept with my crazy brain jargon mm -hmm. by making a reference, Mm -hmm. so I could summarize an entire uh, uh, concept, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to break down the whole concept. If you get it, you get it. If you get the SpongeBob reference that I'm using to describe this whole situation Mm -hmm. and how I'm processing it, all right, I just saved this time. Well, and that's why, that's, that's, that's why, again, we we give the certain messages that we do or we talk about the certain situations that we've ever been because it 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 relates to somebody and then of course it gives them a a thought process or a mindset of right. oh okay this is how they went about it maybe this is how I can go about it mm-hmm. moving forward mm-hmm. i looked at it this way and it's when you if like you said if you got time to argue argue with somebody it's a waste i don't got time exactly and it's like I don't got time. Yeah. Do you know you wanna know why? Cause I invest my time in avoiding problems. Yes. So like let's say let's say let's go back to like uh let's say you, you have a partner, right? Mm-hmm. Problems arise because you're neglecting neglecting to invest your time in said partner. In said partner mm-hmm. in, in those things. You see what I'm saying? Yep. You're not investing time in communicating and noticing that thing and it goes both ways you know of what I'm course, saying? Yeah. it's not all on you you know what i'm saying like oh man i need to you know juggle caring about the they also have to care about you mm-hmm. too you know what i'm saying you know they also have to care about you too but like at the end of the time 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 no, i feel, time. It. I feel, it. I, you feel know? It. I can't stress it anymore yeah no that makes sense can't but, stress um, anymore. Uh, again like we said uh our message is not for everybody but it, it relates to some people out there and Hopefully it will help them move forward with whatever obstacles that they have in life. Um, looking right. at it from back in the, uh, how they reacted before to how they can react now moving forward. It's a Saturday in July. You're 58. Mm-hmm. Describe a day. What do you do in that day? What would you like to do in that day? Yeah. Saturday in July at age 58. Mm-hmm. What do you see yourself doing? Mm-hmm. Now, once you got that, once you can describe that, once you got that mental picture, Mm -hmm. literally do everything in your life to eventually get to that point. Exactly. Exactly. And cut everything out of your life that's going to prevent you from waking up on that Saturday in July at age 58. As bad as it sounds, whether it be things or people, Mm -hmm. because you got to understand obstacles are what hold you back and Mm -hmm. people that don't um want to perpetuate you doing good in the future are the ones that also hold you back to and just think of that saturday in july exactly. someone offers you a bad decision mm-hmm. 
and you don't understand it, think of that Saturday in July. Yeah. Is this decision going to get me closer to that? Exactly. If or it is it going to give me a felony or a record? Right. <laughs> and if it does, think of another Saturday in July. July. Or no, no, no. Keep thinking of that Saturday right. in July and just know you're going to have to do more. Just to get to that Saturday. Just to get to that Saturday yeah. in July. Yeah. You know? No, I like that analogy. You know? Yeah. You know, you know, you know. But that's uh, sensational. Thank you, sir. Yep. 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 All right, sir. Are we? Uh, yes, sir. You got any final thoughts? You got any final thoughts? Uh, respect your time. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, respect your time. And then for for um, you guys will probably do another pre pre recording. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if it rains on Thursday. But if the weather's looking well, of course we'll do a live, and then of course right. we'll release it for right, 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 right. But no, guys. Really, I appreciate you for joining us at the tabletop and listening to us uh, rant. <laughs> would you consider this a rant? No, okay. it wasn't a rant. Um, I would say it was uh, uh, kind of giving advice to whoever wants to listen. I feel that. Um, this is advice I give myself. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I, I try to follow my own advice. Um, and it, uh, again, you guys don't have to listen to what we say. Again, it's not for everybody. But if it is, if, if it resonates with you, then, of course, definitely um try to perpetuate or move towards it or like my brother said what does july look like when at age 50 at age 58 on a, on a saturday morning so yep. um just really think about that um don't just answer that real quick but just like think about it think about describe it describe the scenery exactly and he of course he's like if you can't describe the scenery try to get to that point right um but no no yeah so that's that's kind of what i would say i would say uh, try to get the try try to get your time back because a lot of people wasted Respect your time. Yeah, a lot of people waste it regard, uh, on things that they shouldn't be doing, frivolous, um, uh, arguing, si- situations they shouldn't be in, mm-hmm. whether it be legal or illegal, um, mm-hmm. scenery that they can't afford. Um, hating. Hating. Yeah, being angry. Hate. Being angry is a lot of energy. Ooh. That's why I'm always happy because I, I when I smile, I make other people smile. It made me feel good. Yes. I get dope on <sighs> Look at that. Wow. It's like, it's like happiness. I woke up. The sun remember, be remember how I explain, beaming. You remember how I explained how I stay happy? <laughs> <laughs> I used to stay happy, Jeff. Can you remind uh, yeah. the audience? Well, you know, um, I have like four hours of happiness. So when I clock into work or anywhere around the world, I will perpetuate that happiness onto somebody else, which will then make them happy and then give which me more. Which makes me happy. Which makes me happy. And it's a endless. Endless cycle of exponential. happiness. Exponential. It's like... um. <laughs> It's like a new Green Lantern ring, big but, bong of happiness. Exactly. It's like a new. It's like a new Lantern ring for happiness. What color would that be? Like, what color do do they not have? Mm. Do, or do they have all the spectrums? They do have purple, don't they? Mm-hmm. Which is the love? The love. Purple's always been love. Yeah, I love the color. Purple. Hope is blue. Green is um, purple. Purple. I love purple and green yeah. and brown. So, but no, yeah, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Thursday. See you. See you. Yeah.